in my life, my, my mother Stevie McGregor or Flora MacDonald or Kim Campbell or Bella Absog, uh, I, am, I am also so inspired by those that are invisible and those whose courage is not one iota less than the larger figures uh, that I have mentioned. In my federal campaign, as I knocked on doors to seek support for my election, I was very moved by a woman that I met who was just returning home and it was a cold winter, her hands were freezing, she had only running shoes on in the snow and she was frozen to the bone and I asked her to first <laughs> warm up. But then secondly, where did she come from that it was so important uh, that she be there uh, despite not having appropriate warm clothing and she said she came from Trinity, from the Trinity Church where she was taking classes to learn how to read and I wanted to learn more and uh, never mind all this political business just tell me her story and she said you know Betsy um, I admit it's emotional for me because she said I am um, when my grandchildren uh, asked me to do their homework I couldn't read <laughs> and I thought you know that takes so much courage, so much courage to say, I can't read, I can't write. That is a case of a woman uh, who is determined. And she surprised me, actually, as I was about to leave and said, you know, Betsy, I actually dream of opening my own business, too, one day. <laughs> and I, I just left so uplifted. I thought, my goodness, you know, our... Our community has so many invisible champions.